difference, uh, as you see, is very windy today and we are walking along the edges of lava fields. Yeah, it's no joke, it's very strong wind. And what I wanted to show you is the smoking here along the edges of lava fields. There is still a lot of gas and gas emissions and smokes coming from the lava as you see all over we are in Gelingadalur as you know the valley amazing colors here it's very red color orange red very strange chemical reactions So uh, there is still a lot of gas pollution here and today volcano tremors went above the eruption line so I don't know what was happening there but it looked like almost a volcano is going to erupt at least on the tremors chart and uh, that was quite special but I don't know what was happening inside but now it went below the below the line of eruption so it's coming down but something was happening there some snow here and there we're walking here along the lava edges because uh, because it's less wind, today is very windy day as, as always and um, some lava pieces are very fragile and they crack very quick as you see but it's very convenient to walk here <laughs> along the edges of lava because it's uh, very smooth unlike on La Palma here we have many Pajo Pahoe flows, smooth flows, as here as you see, and they are very convenient to walk on. It's, uh, we got on the hill here and it's uh, very windy and it's impossible to fly drone against this wind here on the highland in Gilingadalur. I was able to fly below down in not high today but not in Gelingadalur would be difficult for a drone to return back here you see beautiful colors we will keep exploring the lava fields when uh, the weather allows See how cracky it is. It cracks very quick. You see, and that's how it looks under. You don't see this lava on La Palma. On La Palma, it's just ash. Lava mixes it with ash. It's very even hard to see lava there. It looks like rock, some ash rocks. Here, it's real lava. You see, ash eruptions are very different from the effusive smooth eruptions as it was in case of Fagrad was fat. But here in Iceland we also have explosions, explosive eruptions with ash. Like um, Aske eruption was explosive eruption in the north of Iceland. And then also Grainavat eruption here. Uh, increase of existing was also exploding one so we do have ash eruptions also in Iceland but primarily 
eruptions here in Iceland are a few of you from fishes and they they can be quite big Eldgau eruption in 940 covered 840 square kilometers that was the biggest eruption since the settlement of Iceland in terms of the size of the territory it covered can you imagine 840 kilometers square kilometers lava covered in the interior parts of Iceland in primarily uninhabited areas with huge chunks here so in La Palma we have now about 10 square kilometers flooded by lava but El Gyao eruption was 840 square kilometers it's like 800 times more you know so you can imagine the size of eruptions in Iceland and uh, Lucky eruption had 10, uh, 10 eruptions ongoing at the same time along the fissure lines. It was in the 18th century. This is interesting. Look how yellow it is here. We'll keep hiking. 